hi guys, how are you? Uh, uh, what is the uh, purpose of your uh, company? Uh, so we're helping uh, companies to convert uh, manual testing into test automation. Okay. And who, who is going to be your first paying user or paying customer? Uh, we have 33 uh, paying customers right now, paying us $718,000 uh, a year. Okay, that's excellent. Uh, how do you get the users? Uh, LinkedIn outreach, Google Ads, and Google Search. Okay. And um, how do the users know they need this? Uh, because they struggle with testing. Uh, as you know, uh, testing is a very important phase of software development, and companies are investing a lot in it. Uh, and there is currently a struggle for, with test maintenance. With we are there uh, for solving. We are solving that problem. All right. Uh, uh, fair enough. And. Um, Considering this is a new, not new uh, uh, pro problem existing, right? What makes you actually different uh, from existing solutions on the market? We are the only one that uh, uh, allows manual uh, QA to build complex uh, automation. Uh, and we are the only one which actually solves the problem of test maintenance. Okay. Um, and uh, how do users find out about you? Uh, well, like as I mentioned currently, like LinkedIn and uh, and Google, but going forward, uh, like we will be investing a lot in content marketing. Okay, currently you're doing your own outreach through social media, primarily LinkedIn, and later on there will yes. be marketing. Yes. Yes, we, we're working on marketing and we're working on rolling out on different channels. And what triggers your uh, existing, uh, uh, what triggers your new customers, new users to try your solution? What is the trigger? Um, well, as I mentioned, they are, there is a problem in test maintenance. Uh, they are struggling, struggling with it. Uh, so we offer them a trial and they are open to try us uh, after a demo where they are surprised uh, about our system. All right. Um, coming deeper into the value proposition, uh, what's, um, uh, what's, what's new about uh, what you make? Um, well, basically, uh, I think our, our key thing is that we they are relying on what, on what is visible from the end user perspective. And we are not relying on any structure as the HTML for a web page that it's oftenly changes. And that mm -hmm. is triggering, triggering a lot of work and rework on test maintenance, to rely on what is visible from the end user perspective and that makes test stable. Okay, um, let's talk about the market. Um, how many people uh, are in your target market and uh, uh, how it's, uh, how it's con uh, con conversing to uh, monetary value? Like we're 4.7 million uh, people in here on LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, you can think of it as potentially we could be charging $700 uh, per person. And uh, how big is your market, mind-wise? Uh, depending how you estimate, if, if you estimate uh, top-down, it might be around a billion, trillion dollars. If you estimate bottom-up, it's seven billion dollars at a minimum. So your target market is around uh, seven billion. Okay. Um, did you measure how fast it's growing? Our statistics: it's a thirteen uh, percent year over year. Excellent. Uh, all right. And um, uh, do you uh, understand uh, what, uh, what is your competition uh, is uh, mostly afraid of? 
So competition is always afraid of competition and new technologies and we are the new technology. All right, I will rephrase the question. Do you have any unfair advantage versus your competition? Uh, if so, like please uh, give details about that. Uh, yes, we believe uh, that people, people just don't understand that uh, the executable specifications which we have built give us uh, enormous opportunity uh, to roll out in the channels which uh, traditional companies wouldn't be able to do otherwise. Okay. Uh, did you measure how much time and money do your users uh, in your target market waste before switching to your product? Well, uh, it depends on the size of the company. So if it's a small startup, so it's anywhere from zero uh, all the way to tens of millions of dollars, if not hundreds of millions. Actually, uh, 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 Salesforce already wasted at least one billion dollars uh -huh. with a B, as in boy. Got it. Got it. Um, oh, what are some trends uh, you're aware of in your target market um, or maybe related markets? Uh, well, uh, the standard trend uh, in QA market is shift left, mm -hmm. and we take it to the extreme, uh, allowing product managers to build executable specifications. All right. Um, and um, in terms of your execution, what is the uh, what is an impressive thing you have done? Uh, we closed uh, Netflix, for example. It's one of our paying customers right now. Okay. okay. Um, anything other surprising happened? Other, sorry, what? Anything, anything other than that surprising that has happened? We were offered, uh, uh, someone offered to buy us. Oh, okay, good for you. Oh, yeah, we had the acquisition offer for $22 million. We had an acquisition offer. Um, good. Um, all right, so let's dig deeper into your uh, mistakes. What is the biggest mistake have you done? Um, in my case, I would say losing, losing a great engineer because of being too slow to, to send him the proposal. Okay. Yeah, the what was insane. The market is crazy. Like you literally were uh, slow for by I don't know a day, and bam, it's gone. Uh, and it's insane. Why did you choose that idea? We worked. Uh, uh, we went together on uh, at Up Direct, and uh, at some point. Like we have uh, just released a new UI framework. And what happened is that all automation was gone. And uh, like UA team spent at least two months, uh, maybe more than that. And so if you remember, it was maybe even three months retesting everything. And still we ended up with uh, blocker level uh, issues mm -hmm. uh, for our team. Um... Who is the boss on your team? I would say Artem. He is the CEO. We trust his guidance. Okay. And uh, can you give a little more uh, clarity on co founding team and your background? Uh, sure. So, co founding team is just us, uh, Enzo, and myself. Uh, we have a uh, founding uh, engineer as well, two of them currently, we promoted one. Um, and yeah, so we're hiring more talented people as we speak. Okay. Um, and also um, uh, give a, a, like a few steps of how the product works. So it's... To be basic, uh, customers create uh, test cases or edit them using our, our UI uh, and our servers P2 
pick, pick up that uh, executable specification and translate it into something that is executable in a browser or a mobile. I see. Um, six months from now, what would be the biggest problem you will face? I would say uh, hiring. Um, we need to hire the correct people that will help us uh, grow and, and will help us build the correct culture for our company. Okay, that's it. Uh, so guys, um, um, we've got uh, 10 minutes and um, my feedback to you would be, um, first of all, uh, an interesting solution. Uh, I initially started uh, from uh, users and uh, uh, I wanted to clarify uh, the, with you uh, the understanding of your target audience and the pain you are trying to solve. Uh, the questions uh, you answered uh, pretty good, uh, so I got pretty much information. Still, um, I have a positive impression during the talk, though I think if one of the main thing I would recommend you to uh, uh, start with is your emotional uh, um, um, passion. So show your passion. There is uh, what I see. You have expertise. You are like you as a team. Uh, it seems like have good ties, though I don't see um, emotional involvement. Maybe this is something you you a little bit lack during the conversation. Maybe it just happened. But what I would recommend so demonstrate this passion because uh, I, I want to see that it keeps you up at at night. So you wake up and like you think of this because this is something. Uh, you want to achieve, build, or deliver for your target audience. Um, the other thing um, what was interesting, well, I asked you a provocative question, who is your boss? And I mean, you answered the, uh, the, the right way. I think uh, during the, uh, in my opinion, uh, as a team, you, uh, there is a leader, but you are both partners, first of all. And this partnership uh, it will last longer. And the most important what I want to hear from you, uh, you are a team, like a united team, uh, and uh, nothing uh, uh, can break your uh, partnership. And so I want to see this uh, um, uh, strong collaboration. And of course, when I was asking about the team, I want to know about uh, your expertise. So you, you don't do the same thing. You have... Uh, at least two most important roles. One is sales uh, and can sell and represent business. And the other one is building, so technical part. What really great is that uh, you already have sales uh, and uh, the numbers uh, talk itself. So it's a very strong point of view. Um, still, I have about 10 more questions to ask, but uh, don't worry about uh, that. Usually it's a conversation uh, to dig deeper, uh, learning about your solution that is needed uh, by your target audience, that the market is significant and uh, um, that you as a team, as I already mentioned, uh, qualified to deliver on this problem. So yeah, do you guys have any questions? How did... How did you prepare for your YC interview? <clears throat> I did I prepare? Uh, I am not uh, uh, preparing. Uh, I have not uh, been on a uh, YC uh, batch, though I have prepared many companies and uh, keep helping companies uh, to get prepared for YC. And uh, uh, people get accepted. And this is what uh, we do through our community. Uh, mock-up mock interviews uh, we are doing not only for YC but for other accelerator programs. Most importantly, you guys understand what they are looking for, what they try to uh, 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 figure out. It's not like uh, uh, they are trying to ask you tricky questions. They want to uh, they, they understand you, uh, have a pro proper impression about you as people and they have good chemistry with you. So uh, if you would have, uh, for example, a small talk in the beginning, we, it might be also an advantage. So see for yourself if uh, they're asking something general, uh, like about, uh, like, like usually they ask, how are you, or about the weather, or about something else. Just uh, keep, uh, keep conversation in this direction for a very short time. So just to show that you emotionally uh, 
uh, open and uh, um, ready for a good conversation. Yeah, and uh, Thank you. yeah, the other thing I I I, I think uh, I, I wanted to say, uh, your body language is uh, um, a little bit um, um, small, I would say. So you you don't you don't demonstrate emotions. Maybe you just a little bit. Uh, uh, stressed or like very much dedicated to deliver well, uh, which is fine. Uh, but uh, with your words, there are emotions, uh, and uh, I'm sure you know these the tricks. But uh, you may use a little bit open postures, like uh, when you, for example, want to show something big or something small, or one example, the other example. But don't show too much because it's uh, it might be un understood incorrectly. But when you uh, like very uh, frozen like that uh, it's uh, it's a little bit uh, giving a, a little wrong impression that you are a little stressed maybe like that you know keep in mind uh, what I why I'm saying this because you are doing an interview through uh, via zoom and uh, zoom is unfortunately another barrier for us to give emotional attachment to each other and uh, uh, so this barrier is a little harder to break, but uh, still is better than nothing. Uh, and just be aware of that. So just have a good picture. So for example, um, you both had uh, not too much emotions, uh, like very little emotions. I would say not too, too much is not an, is is not good as well. Uh, but uh, also, um, for example, for Enzo, I would recommend you to have. A little better light, uh, so because I don't see your face uh, clearly, and my uh, my psychological uh, wish to switch to Artyom's uh, picture, even when you talk, just because I don't see your uh, face clearly. Uh, I, I, don't, I mean, this is what I felt. Maybe maybe I'm wrong. Uh, and if you would have proper lights, uh, for example, like I have, uh, Artyom has good lights, uh, that might help as well. Um, yeah, but overall, I think uh, you answered very decently. Uh, don't be stressed. Just uh, try to make uh, the atmosphere uh, relaxed and uh, uh, demonstrate your passion and the, that you're a strong team. You already have a good market, you have a good product, and uh, you have sales. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, anything else? Guys? Very nice office. <laughs> <laughs> thanks thanks so uh if you, if it helps just uh, let me know how it goes uh i'm happy to i'll be excited if you guys get accepted i definitely want to know about that if you're not uh on our community global world uh we have uh, other accelerators uh, for example 500 startups might be another one for you to try and um, i mean through our community we help out each other as i help you right now it's just because this is how we do it in our community and we would expect you to help other members of the community the same way you find your time to answer questions, to do something for other entrepreneurs as I would have done for you. This is what we usually do on our community globally. And we have um, several thousand entrepreneurs helping out each other to deliver uh, uh, or uh, like solve different, sm usually small problems, but sometimes large problems. So each uh, business of each of us moving forward and going global, that's the idea. If you're not signed up, I can send you the links, but uh, uh, I want everyone, uh, every entrepreneur to benefit and move forward with the next step. Thank you. All right, guys. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much. And uh, good luck and let me know how it goes. Right. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.